Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to use table in React.js application. So, I will create simple table to display department details like department ID and department name in a table. So, go to Visual Studio Code Editor. In department component, I will import table from React Bootstrap. Then, I will create constructor here. Then I will add one more method super here yeah, this method super props is required when we need to access some variables of its parent class here yeah, props is a special keyword that is used in react it stands for properties this is used to pass data from one component to another this props is read only which means the data coming from the parent component should not be changed by the child component next i will write this dot state will declare variable deps then empty array here deps is a variable i am declaring as an empty array here this dot state contains objects that we want to use while rendering this component to use this keyword or initialize this keyword we need to use this method okay. next i will remove this html content here to add table table then class name margin top 4 then style will be striped bordered then our then size will be small okay inside this table uh, we have to add us so we have to add the add us here table head so we'll create a row Next, we'll have header. Header will be department ID. So copy and pasting below that. Then second header will be department name. Okay. Next, we'll create table body. It, inside this it may contain uh, content of this table okay so it can have many rows so we have to take it from database and then we'll show it here while taking uh, it from database it might be in object form so then we have to show it in a separate row here i will map this deps object here deps dot map then one more variable dep um, this is used to get uh, each of the department object here we'll have a row then key key will be unique to table department id Here, we have to identify each and every row by unique ID, right? That ID will be the key here. Department ID is unique in department table. So, we may consider this as a key. So, DEPS contains a lot of records from department table. So, we will map the to take each record from department table data. Okay. We created a row then we need to display the department id and department name as table data by this tag you will map the department id and department name to dpt id then second data will be department name okay that's it then we'll create one more variable here const 
DES this dot state here const is a new variable declaration mechanism introduced in ES6 this variable won't be reassigned without this we cannot use this variable DEPS okay let me add some outcoded value to this data by creating a function refresh list inside this I will set the state of the object so DEPS so before that this dot set state here will set the object by giving outcoded value your department ID will be one then department name will be max so copying this and pasting below that here I change the ID to 2 then department name physics ok now I have to add one more life cycle method here that is component did mount This method is called um, when this component is rendered. Okay, here we'll call this a refresh list function. This dot refresh list. Okay, let's check the browser if there is any issue. Okay, no issues. Here we have the data. This is outcoded value. In our next video, we'll learn how to consume get API method. Okay. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It motivates to me to make more videos. Okay, thank you everyone. See you there in next video.